What's really good about the combine is, I mean, there's a number of things, but one of the fact is everybody's on the same playing surface. Everybody's in the same venue. So you, you get an opportunity to really see, you know, how they interact with other players, how they act, interact with other officials, and how they perform under pressure. It's the ultimate public job interview. To me, a lot of it is, it's, it's the interview aspect of it. We want to see how these kids handle themselves under pressure and whatever. It's, that's really, to me, a big part of it because we have 60 interviews. We get, we're allowed to interview 60 guys. We make that a, a football interview and it gives you a chance to really dig into these kids, find out how football savvy he is. And, and obviously in 15 minutes, you can't do that either, but it gives us a little taste. You know, obviously medical is important. I mean, you put a player on the draft board according to his value and then you see where the chips fall, where they are when it comes to medical. It's just part of the process. These are all things that are just part of the process. The strength guys come into play and in terms of, you know, they're at Indy, they're going to, you know, watch the bench press, watch, you know, various things, and, you know, they'll give us our input, but it's all pieces. It's all pieces. It's, it's really important that we all get on the same page as quickly as possible. You bring in players that don't fit, that aren't fits. It's, you wasted time, you wasted money, but this is just part of the puzzle. That's all Indianapolis is. It's not the be all, end all. Uh, I call it the underwear Olympics. At the end of the day, they're doing all these things in a pair of shots and a t-shirt. Last time I checked, when I watched put an NFL game on, they're not in their they're not in their underwear. Okay, they're in pads with helmets. So, you know, it's it's again, you take everything with a grain of salt.